Hello and welcome everybody, my name is the IT guy and in this video we will have a look at how to set up a compute engine or a virtual machine on the Google Cloud Platform. Now, uh, when you first uh, log into the Google Cloud Platform, you'll be greeted by this screen and you probably already have something like a uh, project set up for you. If you went through the whole setup process, you're probably greeted with a randomly named uh, project now we got we're gonna create a new project but if you want to you can use that pre-created project uh, but i would suggest you create a new project so it's a lot easier to navigate through the whole uh, thing so first of all let's create a new project so we're gonna name this project uh, tutorial one we don't have to set a location. This is actually uh, something that you would do if your organization is pretty big. You can set location, stuff like that, but we're just doing demonstration purposes here. So uh, we're just gonna set this to tutorial one. So hit create. And then we are just going to go over to the project again. And then we just have to wait that the for the project to be created. There we go, just click the project. And then we're taking into into this uh, menu over here. Now we see a lot of things over here on the left, but we don't want any of that. We want to go into compute engine, and we want to go into VM instances. And right over here, the uh, compute engine is first getting ready, so we'll have to wait for a couple of minutes or maybe just a couple of seconds for this uh, thing to get ready, and then we'll uh, we'll continue with the video. Okay, so now we click create and we just name it. We're going to name this instance one. This is just for demonstration purposes. I'm not really going to name it, uh, give it a very fancy name, but you in real life situations, you know, in real world situations, you would name this uh, something uh, that you can uh, find easily. Then you can also add labels. This is not really necessary, but labels are something like you can add the key like you know, the type of this. Uh, VM is tutorial so we know that it's a tutorial label so the type is tutorial and that way we know that uh, if we create other virtual machines and we give the the value type and we, we give the, the the key we name the key type and then we name the value something else we know that there are different types of virtual machines and we can easily distinguish them uh, if we use labels this is just something uh, easily uh, to easily manage uh, to easily uh, manage the virtual machines. The region you select, of course, the one that's closest to you. Uh, I happen to live in Belgium, and we have a Google data center here in Belgium, so I'm going to select Belgium, and then we're going to select um, the generation. So the second generation, they have a lot more features than the first generation. But for general purposes and for this demonstration, I'm just going to select the, uh, the the first generation N1. And then we can select the machine type. And actually, we don't need the N1 standard for this. This is, again, for demonstration purposes. If you need a, a faster type of virtual machine, you can always select it over here. But we actually don't need a very small one. So I'm going to select the G1 small. Next up is the operating system. By default, it's uh, it's Debian, so we're going to change that to something else. So let's select Ubuntu over here, and let's select 20.04 long-term support. And over here, there's a lot of other options, but that's beyond the scope of this video. We're just going to use the public images over here, and 10 gigabytes in size will also uh, be plenty. So we're going to hit select. And then scroll down to the bottom. We can skip all of this for now, and then we can just click create and then we just wait a couple of seconds it shouldn't take too long for the instance to be created depending on the type of operating system of course if you use a minimal image it's going to take a lot less time but as you can see it just took a couple of uh, seconds over here so now we created the instance let's go into the instance and let's see over here okay everything seems to be good and now, how do we access the machine? Well, actually, it's pretty easy. You just click SSH over here. And then you just wait for a couple of seconds for the SSH keys to transfer. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. Our machine has logged in. We can perfectly, uh, you know, we can do fancy stuff over here. We can do echo just to see if everything works. Hello. You can see that all works. Now we'll exit. But it's not really handy to always have to go into the Google Cloud Platform website and uh, always log in and then click SSH and then wait uh, for that uh, to complete. Uh, instead, we will add our own SSH key to the virtual machine. Now, how do we go about this? Well, I am working on Windows, so I'll show this for Windows. If you're working on Linux, it's basically the same way it's going to work. So let's just open up, uh, let's just open up PowerShell over here. Actually, let's uh, open up PowerShell. When you right click the start menu over here, we can click PowerShell. And now let's create an SSH key. So we do, we do SSH dot dash keygen. And it's going to ask us where do we want to save this? If we just do a blank, then it's going to save it in idrsa.pub. And we enter and it's going to tell us that it already exists. Do we want to override it? Yes, we want to. Enter the passphrase. You can enter a passphrase if you want to uh, protect your SSH key with a password, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, so now we can actually quickly do, uh, we'll make this easier. We'll do notepad and then we'll do dot SSH um, and then ID underscore RSA dot pub. And this will open up our notepad and it will show us our public key I'm going to copy that let's close that up let's close uh, that up and now let's uh, click on edit over here scroll down to the bottom uh, to where it will say you have zero ssh keys and you'll click show and edit enter the public ssh key you just do Control v add item and then we'll do save there we go and right now when we do the same thing when we go into PowerShell again we should be able to just log into the machine and if we go into network interfaces we'll find Nick zero and we'll just have to find the external IP, which is this one over here. Copy to clipboard. And then we'll do SSH, control V. We'll just paste that in there. And then it's going to ask us if you want to add the fingerprint. We'll do yes. And there we have it. We are uh, in our instance. So we have Herbert at instance one. And that is because we added our SSH key, our public SSH key from this computer to the virtual machine. So now we'll just exit here and we're done. Now we actually basically it will work just the same as another VM so you can perfectly do everything you do in any other VM. You can do that in the VM uh, that we just created using the SSH uh, key and you just do SSH and then you type in the external IP and there you go. You can start working on your virtual machine. So this was just a quick uh, overview of how to set up your virtual machine on the Google Cloud Platform. I hope you liked the video, guys. And if you did, please leave a like and a comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.